So the Huskies, they finished second in the CFP rankings following that historic undefeated regular season, which was capped by a thrilling win over Oregon in the Pac-12 championship game. We know that Washington faced Texas and Steve Sarkeesian just 12 months ago. So tell me, big picture, what are you most looking forward to in this matchup, Yogs? Well, I'm looking forward to getting there with you and, and kind of feeling the vibe around this. I mean, the storylines are incredible. You referenced Steve Sarkeesian, his history at Washington. The game they had a year ago was an incredible finish. But how about the offenses in this game? I mean, I think they're two of the most explosive and creative offenses in all of college football. Let's start with Michael Penix Jr., Roma Dunze, Dylan Johnson, Ryan Grubb, of course, the play caller, and one of the best offensive lines in America. I just love how they use all the space on that field. They're going to go up against Pete Kwiatkowski, former UW defensive coordinator, now Texas defensive coordinator. So storylines there. And then on the flip side, how about this Texas offense? Quinn Ewers, the explosive playmakers they have, not only coming out of the backfield, but stretching the field vertically against a defense that I don't think is getting enough credit for what they did against Oregon, especially in that first half. So I love this game, Ash. Both teams very capable of winning it all. I think Washington was slighted by the CFP committee. I think they should have been a number one seed. So you add a little fuel to their fire. We saw what happened when you did that against the Oregon Ducks and the point spread. Yeah. So a lot of storylines for this one. Yeah, and we should mention Washington's 20-game win streak is now the longest active in all of FBS after Georgia's loss to Alabama in the SEC title game. And what has impressed, I think, both of us the most about Washington, you mentioned all the talent, Yogi, but they have just figured out, they, they are they have been down, but they have never been out of any game. They have figured out a way to win all these close games, which I think when you get down to this point in the season, that can only bode well uh, for being able to pull it out when everything is on the line. Yeah, you look at the experience, the offensive line, no transfers. Defensive front seven, only one in Raylan Goforth. These guys have been together for a long time. Edifu on Yola Fashio, linebacker, sixth-year player. He's been there. He's been the heartbeat of this thing. Yes, multiple head coaches, but this group is really connected. I love that part of what Kalen DeBoer inherited and then grew. And he did it in a fantastic job, the coach of the year in the Pac-12. Well-deserved. Can't wait to see this one in person. Yeah, last year he had to share Coach of the Year honors. This year it is all his own. Congratulations to Kaylin DeBoer. They're going to keep it rolling. 5.45 p.m. Pacific, January 1st at the Superdome. We will be there.